Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the world's smallest Class A gas motorhome. Easy to drive, easy to park, easy to live in. This one is a new floor plan. This is the 2022 Thor Access. Model is 24.4. Never before been seen on YouTube. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things you love about the Axis and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be taking a look at these world's smallest Class A motorhome, the Access, similar to the Vegas. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. We are here in Texas, and it is warm. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys about our YouTube membership. Yes! It is a great way to support Matt and I, also to get posts and new videos. Exclusives. Exclusive and, and cool emojis. Bing. I love that. And I'm excited because this is a new floor plan, and anytime I get to see something new, it's awesome. Yeah, and with the little emoji, we see every comment that you put. One, we reply to as many comments as we can, but you guys know it's hard. But you have the little emoji. We're making sure we reply to everybody. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Access 24.4. The actual tip, tip length of this motorhome is 26 feet 6 inches. This is the Thor Access. It is the sister product to the Thor Vegas. The only difference that I know of is the headlight design. I think this Axis headlight design looks good. It looks nice. Look how small it is. It's definitely not as tall. Uh, front windshield here and everything. Now, an Axis, a true class, an Axis isn't a true class A. A true class A looks like that and it sits on what's called an F53 chassis. Okay, if you go over there to that east to west, that is a true class C. It's on a cutaway chassis, and, and the chassis is an E series, an E350 and E450 chassis. What they've done is merged both of them. So this is actually a class C chassis, an E series chassis, ripped apart and designed to be like a class A. I love it. It's like a, an SUV, Andrea. Right here, we do got chrome mirrors on the left side, right side, in reverse with cameras integrated in the side. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the hand cooks. Kind of pros. I love those. These are the LT225-75R16. All right. Coming on down the side here, we do got some storage. Great, coming on down the side here, Andrea, we do got frameless windows. Thor does the 12 year structural, six year lamination warranty. Nice armless awning with wind sensor. Hey, Andrea. Yes. Should we put the awning out right now? Uh, no, because it'll just go back in. <laughs> yep. And then check out this storage. Very nice storage right there. And sorry about the wind, guys. The noise will go away in just a moment. And right there is a um, propane quick connect. If you do want to have a grill on the outside. We got an electrical outlet right there. Yep. Some more storage. Yes, ma'am. And a uh, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And a traditional water heater. Coming around the back. Oh, dang that one, Andrea. No ladder. No ladder to get up on the roof. We do got a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Here's where you're filling up your fuel. And uh, you do have the backup camera integrated in that rear tail light over there. And Andrea, do you hear that? Nothing. Not the wind. We should just stay back here all day. You know what we should do? We, we, we should have like one of those like little spinny things. Yes. So we can only be on this side of the wing. Finishing up, Andrea, 30 amp service, TV and everything, outdoor shower, city water connection, everything that you need is going to be right there. Right here is your own and 4000 generator. Here, there's going to be like your dump valves and everything. Here's going to be your propane tanks. And Andre will have the specs here, bing, for everybody to see who is watching on TV. And then here's just a little bit more storage. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Thor Access looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Be careful. Go now. Oh 
Oh man, beautiful inside. Cargo carrying capacity. Beautiful. Oh, it might be on the door. Wait. I got it. Yep. Go on in. All right. Look at this. 2,975 pounds. Wow. All right. Coming in here, guys. We've got the slide in. Slide is in. Look at that. Mm hmm. Nice walkway. Yes, ma'am. Oh, a Murphy bed. Murphy. Hey, it looks like I can still open the fridge. No problem. Walking back here. It is a little bit tighter, but doable. And then you've got the bathroom. Okay. Hey. Hey, I'm walking here. Andrea, before we get the slide outs out, let's take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this episode, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at how big and spacious this tiny motorhome is. It's unbelievable. Now Andrea, we're gonna start first up here in the cockpit area, but I did forget something. I was talking so much about the chassis, I didn't talk about the engine. Don't back up for me, Andrea. Ooh. I'm getting all in. Does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. Wow. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. Andrea, let's get started up front in that cockpit. You want to sit up there? Sure. Sit in the captain's seat, Captain. Wow. I could totally do this. Heck yeah, this me too. This is, you know, for people that may be a little bit intimidated to drive the Class A. Yeah. This is your perfect combination of a Class C e and a Class A. Yes. Feels totally comfortable. I got the nice window here with the privacy curtain. Of course, you have your traditional uh, steering wheel, power mirrors. We have this here, which is your camera. Apple so, CarPlay, Android Auto. Right. And Andrea, there's something that you said that's really important. It's for the person who's scared to drive the big Class A. But on the contrary, this is also for the person who's too big for a Class C. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right over here, we got your computer tray. You know, plenty of space, plenty of walkway, and everything. And these seats do swivel, and there is a pedestal table that will go right here. Perfect, can you cut the engine off? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Then with the engine off, we do have power awning, electric stabilizing jacks, not auto leveling. And then a bunk over the cab. Holds, holds 500 mm. pounds. Yes, ma'am. Does have a ladder that goes there. And I do like that they put that safety netting around it. Yes, yes. Very, very nice. It does come more down. Um, You got the safety netting and everything up there. And then Andrea, look at that beautiful cabinetry. Thor does a kick butt job on the cabinetry. How do you like it? I like it. Open it, open up the storage. Okay, so we have three here, electrical outlet in there. Yes. Thank you, Matt. Okay, let's see what kind of blinds we have. Yes, look oh, at the blinds. Oh, we have a shade. Yes. Nice leave, privacy shade. Leave that down though. Okay. I mean, it's still super bright in here. Right. And then look at those valances, y'all. Andrea? I'm just, I'm going to approve them. Um, they're not my favorite and I don't hate them, but they are okay. What does that mean? That means that they're, they're doable. They're doable. Yeah. I like it. Like doable, 
Like, doable. I love it. And just like I love this big dinette. Andre, look at this dinette. Look at this dinette. This is the dream dinette. It's huge. It is big, isn't it's it? It's a big old table. Andre, we could be playing Monopoly and Uno at the same time <laughs> and having our dinner because this table's so I think big. we could really seat, like, four people here. Question of the day. Do you guys play board games at home or card games? Leave a comment down below. Or do you play them when you're camping? Or do you play them when you're camping? Our game is Uno. Yes. And you do not come to the Foxcroft household and think you're going to just win at Uno because you're our guest. Right. Because Matt's a cheater, you guys. I, I'm a cheater. I'm competitive. <laughs> you got to keep an eye on him. I know. I have strategy when it comes to Uno. Right there, we got the cup holders. And then look at this. We got car, uh, storage right there. And on the other side. Man, if anybody works for Mattel, we should have a Matt's RV Reviews Uno edition. <laughs> Or, or like yeah, an that R would be no, cool. like an RV edition. Yeah, right? that would be really cool. So like the plus four could be called like dump the black tank, you know? Right. Because that sucks, right? And then a plus one can be a non-paying customer saying, "Can I stay the night with you?" Plus one. Yeah. <laughs> right there, we got storage. Did forget to mention this does drop down to make a bed. Okay, we have a privacy curtain right here. Yes. Goes Prize around the curtain. bed. And now we're in the living room. Okay? You we got some art. TV, Matt. Well, we got some art oh, deco okay. right here. Okay? You can show the TV with the kitchen because at the sofa, I am not even looking. I can't even see the TV from here. It's so far away. Right. Um, but um, the sofa's nice. It's comfortable. And this does Murphy to make a bed. And we will show you in a second. But first, Andrea, I need you to show us the TV in the kitchen area. Okay. Over here we have the kitchen. I'm gonna start up here and I always, all right. So we do have some storage behind the TV. Yes. Got an electrical outlet there. Mm -hmm. All right. And I do see that they have a round sink here with an extension. Nice. And a counter extension, which is nice. And look how, yep, very good. Okay. Now, now, now close it up, Andrea. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Matt. You, you can do it, you'll learn, yes. Great job. <laughs> All right, under here we have a, a good space for a trash can. Yes. I like the LED lights. Mm -hmm. We've got four drawer or three drawers. Yes, ma'am. And then over here we have another cabinet with adjustable shelves. Gee. Nice big window. Mm-hmm. Dometic two burner propane cooktop. Oh, I hate this one. Yeah, I don't like this one either. Leave that up. All right, a convection microwave here. Yep. And over here we have the Dometic two-way refrigerator. That runs off both propane and electric. It sure does. And then over here, it looks like we kind of have like a mix. I mean, we have the wardrobe. Yeah. Two wardrobes. Yep. And then we have all these drawers, which is nice. Nice. Nice size drawers. Good too. size drawers. Okay. All right, Andrea, now it's time to make the uh, living room into the bedroom. Okay. We messed one of these up the other time. Watch the right. There's the legs. And this is manual, right? Yeah, thank goodness. There we go. There you okay, go. there it is. Yes. There it is, right here. We do have a USB over there, a little cubby. Yes. Tiny bit of a little nightstand there. Um, we have windows, one right there as well. And then that, hold this. And then we have two storage cabinets up here. Very nice, very nice. Now, Andrea. Yes. We we did um a compass like this, and Thor was getting a lot of crap for that right, sticker. Right, right. Can you read that sticker? Okay, it says, Max low capacity for this single person bed, 250 pounds. Failure to comply with the low capacity could cause bed failure, which can result in injury. Elevated beds can present a fall hazard, which may result in injury. Please consult the owner's manual for more information regarding elevated beds and the use of bed rails. Beds are not to be occupied during travel. Well, we do know that. Well, but, um, yeah. So according to Thor, so first and foremost, 
before you buy this, check the owner's manual. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, uh, and actually, you know what? Leave down in the comments below. I called Steve from Thor, but he didn't answer my call. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Steve. Probably too busy for me, but um, Steve will comment down below from Thor Motor Coach on what that sticker means. I know a lot of times, a lot of these stickers are generic stickers. Um, but that's the second time we've seen that. Well, because they're generic. Right, but so, why would it be there if it The didn't... why is going to be in the comments below. Okay. With Steve, Steve. please answer that Steve, question. Steve, check this out, clear this up. Um, Max. I'm gonna show it. Okay, guys, yeah. I did read it. But if you need to pause it and read that, yep. go ahead and let us know what you think. And again, guys, before, do not comment down below saying this ridiculous until Steve watches and comments because he'll be the one to better explain the situation. Hi, Matt fans. It is Steve from Thor Motor Coach. And yes, that is the incorrect weight sticker. The issue is being handled as we speak. Until then, I say we replace it with this. Now, please excuse the crudity of my prototype as I didn't have time to build it to scale. But Matt, Andrea, what do you think? All right, going into the rear bathroom here, we have a pocket door, I think. Yep. And then let's see. Okay, we have the shower. Nice shower. Hate this, Stuff but nice up. shower. Yeah, it does have a shower curtain. Okay. All right, we have a cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. Max air fan, medicine cabinet. And what's this? Oh, oh my goodness. Let me see that. What's that? That's a pretty good size Dang. closet there. Storage in this and thing is amazing. And then we have a drawer there. Yep. And then the sink and another cabinet. All right. What say you? It's porcelain. Almost failing. But with how small this motorhome is, I'm giving it to him. This is a prime pooping <laughs> position. Bing! Yay! Very nice. And as nice as it is, Andrea, and as great as it is. And as this, this is the nicest, smallest motorhome that's a class A, you know the rules. It's now time to give everybody three things we love about this motorhome, three things we don't like about it. Andrea! Wow. What do we do first? All right, let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, do you have one? I do have one. Well, and go I, ahead. Okay, so Matt. I do see in here that there are three places for storage, like that could be wardrobes, right? Sure. One of these should definitely be a pantry with shelves. Oh. Like okay. this is too much for this little motor home. You de I definitely need a pantry, you know? So storage, guys, you yeah. can, you, you could have made removable shelves. Right, that. right. To First, I wasn't getting you. But with the whole well, shelf. Well, because you have this. Right, but with the whole shelf thing, I and totally this, get it. so. I love it. That is number one. Andrea, number two is this right here. I had a third, but I. I have a third. Okay, number two is this. I hate this. This is so stupid. You gotta. Okay. I hate that. Make it induction, make it whatever. I, I hate that. All right, number three, you guys. Talk TV to me. placement. Okay, I do get that the TV has to be in here, right? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. But can Hang we, on, hang on, hang on, hold we this. We should make it to where it can swivel or something or come out so it can angle better for here. 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 Put the camera by the TV. So, no, 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 like face me Oh. from but got from it. where the TV is over there. All right, so, so there's Matt. Yeah. Here's the TV. Hey, Andrea, can you change the channel? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Hey, I'm, who's winning the NASCAR race? Right. Yeah, we're, we're watching football. It's like, oh, I couldn't tell from here. Right. So I think that if they had it on like a swivel or something, cool. I know that they have it for storage. It but... kind of swivels, but you know, that's. Mm. Oh, yeah, it does. It's just annoying. It's a bad TV spot. It's stupid. And it I is a bad that. TV spot. Right? Like they could have put the, you know. They could have put flipped... it over there. Right. Well, no, if they flip flopped, it would have been better. Right. Needless to say, Andrea, that's three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Can I go first? Sure. Look how small it is. It is. Full wall slide. Now this floor plan is new to the access, but it's not a new floor plan. You'll see these in almost every brand of Mercedes. Do you want to know the difference? 
the cargo carrying capacity oh, yeah. of this is double to triple that of the Mercedes. Right. So you want it small, you want this Murphy set up, bada bing, bada freaking boom. How you doing? Don't forget the Bev. <laughs> Andrea. Okay. That's number one. Um, okay, so what I like about this, I do like this floor plan. Yeah. I do like that you seem to get you know, that you got your seats here. You got a lot of seating space for entertaining, yep. for as small as it is. You're in, getting in state national parks. Yeah. And it's just a nice floor plan. And you have a good kitchen size. Andrea, and then to kind of counterbalance your dislike, my third and final like is, I am going to kind of not contradict what you said, but definitely help explain it. I love the amounts of interior storage in here. It's unbelievable. You got all that storage there. Storage above the dinette, storage in here. And yes, I agree, there should be some, some more shelving, but the amount of storage in here is unreal, unbelievable. And then to top it all off with all that storage back there, again, for such a small motorhome, you can definitely top this off. And with the cargo carrying capacity being so high, this really kicks butt and take names, and I love that. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the. Oh, no, it's not. You know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome $157,374. Andrea. MSRP. Sale price. We can't tell you the current sale price right now because it's still a 2022 model year, but Andrea. We know we can get everybody the best price in America. It doesn't matter where you live. And all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact tab. Fill out that form, y'all. And we will figure out where you are, closest dealership to you. You know what we're going to get you? The best price in America. Yes, ma'am. Best price, best service, and just the overall best buying RV experience in the entire industry. All you got to do, again, is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Andrea. Is there anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Okay. Thor does read the comments, and they do watch your videos, so they, they're interested to see what you have to say. Yes. Um, real quick, if you haven't had a chance to check out our YouTube uh, membership, membership yes. um, it's a great way to uh, support Matt and I. Also, uh, you get cool emojis, cool posts, uh, exclusive videos. We love so we it. We really do appreciate that. Um, not a big deal if you don't join. Um, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. And for all of you do join, welcome to the <laughs> membership. Thanks guys so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.